everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and I've decided to tell you guys how my birthday went yesterday. Um, so, the day started out pretty normal. Um, I woke up around 8, because Hubby and I wanted to go get our haircuts, because he, his hair was getting, like, super long, and my hair just needed to be touched up since I start my new job, um, in two days. So we went to our usual salon. We left around like 9.30. And when we got there, like we found out that all the people had been like booked up, which makes me laugh because these people say they accept walk-ins. And I mean, when your stylists are constantly busy, how do you expect people to still be walking in without an appointment? You know what I mean? I just think at that point you should take that sign down and just do appointment only, but anyway, so after we found out that nobody was there, we figured we'd try later in the day to see if they would have any openings, especially towards closing, because, you know, at least maybe we'd get something. So we left, went to Starbucks in downtown Brea, and I decided to use my um my gift card because, you know, when you get gift cards, <laughs> you automatically spend them, right? So I got my gift cards and we left and we had, I had, um, a tall Java chip frappuccino with no whipped cream because I love their Java chip frappuccinos. Just the whipped cream is a little too much for me. And their bacon Gouda egg sandwich. I swear I have fallen in love with that sandwich. And I think, uh, hubby got like a strawberry acai drink, which looked good. I mean, he chugged that thing down like a monster. <laughs> And truth be told, I forgot what he ate. But after that, we ended up going to the Bram Mall, and I got a few cute outfits, again, with gift cards. <laughs> and then I got a brand new watch from Icing since my last one broke. It's really cute. I wish I could show you guys, but I guess, I mean, you know, I'm going to be dark for the next 24 days. <laughs> um, and after that, we went over to a uh, box lunch. And I found this um, Eating Like Walt Disney cookbook, which I'm going to put as a segment here because it starts off with some chapter reading before you go into the recipes. So I figured I could make that uh, a playlist here um, on the channel. Um, I'll probably start that in March or something, or maybe even sooner than that. I might even get started on it on the new Coming to DQS, might you know make it a part of it. And I can't wait to read you guys the book itself. But after that, we were going to eat lunch at Camelot, which is a, a golf place, a mini golf place. But we figured since we were at the mall, we might as well just grab something to eat there. So we ate at Sbarro. Really, really good stuff. I could literally dine on Sbarro every damn day. <laughs> he got, well, we both got pizzas. He got mushroom. I got just plain cheese. And we split garlic stick like the garlic breadsticks and I had a meatball as a side and he got I think the mac and cheese which I don't know he seemed to like it and I like mine <laughs> so we went to Camelot after that ended up kicking his ass on all three courses but not by much I was impressed um then after that we did arcade games and we sat down for a little bit with our prizes they were kind of kitty prizes but they were still cute I ended up getting a travel sized version of um of snakes and ladders or as I know it shoots and ladders it's basically a board game you, you roll a die and you move up however many it tells you and if you get a snake or a shoot you slide down but if you get a ladder you can climb all the way up and then he got like a fake mustache and a plain glider and we split some M&Ms and I got little stickies that glow in the dark stickies I want to put on my car it was just a fun day overall and then once we left, we went to a place called On the Hook. That place gets you messy. A lot of stuff you pick their main course. You get like a bag in a skillet and it's like filled with just a bunch of like seasonings and liquids. And then inside you could put whatever like uh, shelled animal or like any shelled um, sea creature you want. They have crab, uh, lobster. I don't think they have lobster, sorry. They have crab, shrimp, clams, and mussels. And I, of course, got shrimp, the peeled shrimp. 
because the unpeeled ones still have poop in them and then it's like super effort to just clean everything out of the unpeeled shrimp so I got the peeled shrimp makes life a whole lot easier then after that we went to go get crickets for my animals I own a tarantula named Briar Rose and but we call her Briar for short and then I own a gecko named Geico I swear I was 14 when I named him don't, don't judge me we got them crickets and then I was showing off what I had bought at the mall to my parents but hubby still wanted to get his hair cut so we went back to the hair salon and they were still busy so we left and hubby was like I need to get my hair cut today I don't want to go back home until I get my hair cut so we finally drove to this place called Great Clips uh next to the target I live nearby and sure as hell we were the last two people in and we got our hair cuts it was really cool I mean they charge extra for a few things but Overall, I only paid 22 bucks to get my hair cut and washed, and it was amazing. In fact, the hairdresser who cut my hair, um, she <laughs> used to work for my first hairdresser, and I asked her, do you know a lady named uh, da -da -da? And she goes, oh yeah, I do. I'm like, hi, I'm her daughter. And she's like, oh my god, small world. <laughs> and it was just, it was hilarious. But anyways, that was my birthday adventure yesterday. I had an amazing time. Um, I got to see an old friend of mine today for lunch, so it was it was great. And I'm glad I got to spend it with my hubby. And I got a beautiful card from my parents that was handmade by my mother, and it made me very happy. But I just wanted to share my birthday adventure with you guys, and I will see you guys in the fun facts video today. Remember, we're doing a triple feature, so I hope you guys enjoy. I love you little skeletons. I hope you have a great evening.